Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I will uh, show you how you can adjust um, a pre-AI Nikkor uh, 50mm 1.4. And as uh, the video before this, uh, it was the 35mm pre-AI. And uh, one mention, one of you mentioned that uh, it could be good to see how it's done in this nice old um, Nikko lens. I actually made a few videos about this lens uh, and it is the lens I uh, removed the old um, fungus uh, back in, 19, in <laughs> 2017 and as you can see it uh, it's still I use it a lot but there is no fungus inside here so it's really a good lens but if you have the same lens um, but you have issues with the uh, infinity that okay you set it and in, at infinity but it will not reach infinity so um, how can we do that well, we need some tools at least, um, some different uh, yeah. tweezers can be very handy, different size, shapes, dentist tool uh, which has a fine, very fine tip uh, which is good to make scratch <laughs> and um, one of those with a spade is really good to take off the rubber grip here. And uh, in this case, I will use a 2.5 millimeter JIS, as you can see here, because this is a Japanese lens. So they use Japanese screws. And JIS stands for Japanese Industry Standard. Uh, I also have this tool, which is a different one. It's uh, something called Flex Eye File. And it's a ultra fine needle uh, point scriber. Uh, I buy it in a modeling shop, modeling scale shop, and uh, I think it's really good for making scratch on different parts. We also need a 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver. In this case, it's a Vera, which I like. We also need a measure tool. Um, it's very good to have and I made myself a uh, lens tool here <laughs> uh, which is a piece of what do you say rubber a gasket something like this it's almost the same but this has a bigger size you can get them in plumbers section in the hardware store but the thing is it's 55 millimeter or so and which it's really good to actually take the the uh, anklet front ring here this one and it goes you set it to infinity and then I have a good grip on it and uh, in that way take off because this is all what it starts with well you can take off the rubber uh, but it doesn't really help that much um, so uh, yeah, we can try it actually. So let's jump into it and do something. At least uh, one of those uh, grips can be really uh, brittle, brittle over the years. Uh, so take care of when you take it off. But we can just do it very gently and press on the side of it and not too much. So you can see it will come off after a few turns. Um, don't press too much. It can break. But you can actually get those uh, new, uh, almost new. So now we have it here. It's put on with some, I think, double side adhesive uh, tape or so. There's still a little here. It doesn't really matter. The thing is, I need to reach in here 
beside the uh, focusing ring I need to unscrew this ring here and next take off the front ring here the front name ring and then I can take out three screws and uh, in that way come into the actual uh, adjustment uh, area now so um, what I'm going to do is simply use those this uh, homemade tool if there is if it, if the ring is really tight you can use uh, either uh, isopropyl alcohol 99% or you can use pure acetone and we can uh, just uh, if it's if it's too tight one can actually add a little here and simply add it on here if it's uh, way too tight let it suck in because um, Nikon actually used a lot of thread lock at that time so sometimes they are really really um, sticky to actually unscrew it was not the case in here it was actually because I've been into it before so now I can it should be much more easy now have a good grip on it and then you <coughs> unscrew it so you can see it's quite easy with this tool I can just take it out and show you how it is it's very simple uh, but it, it gives a much better grip than, than just holding onto a rubber gasket. Now, unscrew this front ring. And this is made of aluminium, as you can hear. So now we're looking into the, um, the, to the actual uh, three screws, which I mentioned earlier. And before we continue, and this is important, because when you're working with old stuff, old lenses, uh, with no repair manual, how do you actually have the, uh, the way of doing things correct? Well, since we uh, go into here uh, and take off the, the um, focusing ring itself, you can see the holes here are long all of them it will say you can actually when you unscrew I mean when you loosen the screws here you could make some adjustment to the to the actual focusing ring but before we do so I take off the first screw um, so and before I continue, I set my lens, my focusing ring to infinity, as you can see here. Now, uh, so we have a kind of a backup also. We will simply set a scratch onto here. It will say on the edge here, on the hole, and we also set mark down here so I know the exact position of this ring so now I can actually unscrew it fully uh, the screws in this lens was not tight uh, it could be different in your lens keep that in mind so off for that, some of the screws was a little tight on the in the holes here. So off for that, and we still do not turn the focusing ring here. But now I can wiggle it a little off. Still on infinity. See, so it's off. And the ring itself is actually just a tube uh, with nothing in. There's no stop or so. And if we look closer to this 
part here, which is the actual part of the helicoid. It's much, much more important to set scratch here, especially on, you see this part here, this ring here, and the outer ring here. They have to sit correct. So before we do anything, make a scratch on here, on both of them. Just a tiny scratch, is that's enough. And you can also, just as a reference, set a mark here and a mark here. So you know the exact position of the, the parts here. This ring, this ring, and in reference to the to the uh, this part here with the index mark. So now I know exactly position before I actually do any adjustment. The next thing is, um, before I take off the name ring, it's good because um, so you will not move around with the lens and probably drop out the whole lens assembly which hold in place by this ring here. So now we do a thing that takes some time because the set screws here, which you can see here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. In my lens, it was extremely tight. So, what I did, I actually use a lot of acetone and isopropyl alcohol, 99%, to soften the thread lock and in that way uh, loosen the three set screws because those I mean <laughs> I actually broke break uh, two screwdrivers so they simply get I mean the, the the end the tip was actually broken because of the set screws here was so tight so what I actually did was actually a using I tried to to use the first uh, is a popular alcohol and simply uh, dip a lot of is alcohol on the screw itself but also uh, which is important also doing a lot of around here but um, you see it was not much enough. So I did, I actually use the acetone itself and it worked. That was really good. So by dipping the, the acetone itself, it, um, it stinks so I have a fan that blows away and simply add it to the, on top of the the screw uh, on each of them but also around the the edge here where you can see the gap between the two parts here the ring out here and the this uh, actual ring with the um, with the set screws in let it stay there a little and uh, in that way soften the the thread lock which I think it was a really hard one. So now it's possible to actually lose. Um, it's already loose because I've worked on it. Uh, but I mean, um, it should be quite easy when you, when they are loose. But before they are loose, you have to really take good care and just not unscrew it by using a lot of force uh, you pr probably damage the little set screw in here uh, and simply break off one of the the side of the screw and then you have a real problem then you have to drill it out now since it's loose at the moment uh, we need to unscrew this ring here 
and in some of those old, older lenses they add some I mean they put in a small set screw here it could be it's not in here uh, but in your lens there could be something in here if there is any thread lock in here you simply add a little and simply dip in a lot of thread lock I mean <laughs> isopropyl alcohol or acetone it could be so now we need to unscrew it um, but before doing so I think it's a good idea to have I mean it's good to have a reference so put the lens into infinity which is there I haven't done any uh, adjustment so the mark which I set up here still the same so I need to measure from this part here until the very back it will say something like this onto the let's say the um, the aperture ring and it should be something like in my lens could also be different in your lens something like 38.91 um, and I think it will be, it'll be all fine uh, since I put it back to what it was uh, when I assembled it again better put the lens cap on until we actually do something um, so now we can unscrew the the fronting here and for that that is really good to have those rubber cones uh, they can actually fit over it and um, I will put the links in the, in the description so you can have it over there and then you unscrew it so there and don't put the lens over like this have it like this because if you put it if you turn it over like this the uh, lens assembly simply fall out there is a light a little you can just see here there is a little guide pin here that hold the the lens assembly in place I mean when you put it in it, it will fit in here so um, but back to the focusing ring so now uh, if you have something a question about what size is those set screws well I found out it was something like that uh, it should be around uh, 3 3.6 millimeter long and the diameter of the screws should be something like 1.35 millimeter so keep that in mind um, so now I can unscrew it. It's actually the same as the other pre-AI lens, 35 millimeter. So I mean, loosen it. There's no need to unscrew those uh, three thread screws. Just loosen it a few, few turns. So now we can um, actually move the outer ring, and you can see it. It's still. It, it will still work but I want to actually have the the lens assembly closer to the camera or the center so you can see here in the back how it goes um, see it, it uh, goes not very much out it does not stick much out you see but we can make it to stick even more out so what I'm going to do is I actually move I me mean, see the stop here it cannot move any longer see that's the stop but if I turn the focusing ring 
and come away with the come away from the stop here I can actually push on the on the um, side of the screw which is, should be something oh it's not loose enough just a little more something like that and this should be on so that should be enough so now I should be able to actually move the you can see here I can actually I hold on to the ring here but I can move the the inner ring you see I have my reference mark somewhere and I can go over it or under it so if I hold on to the ring here I should be able holding to the ring it should be I should be able to have it more stick out um, in that way and uh, by turning the ring here see it keep a finger on here you can see it will stick even more out on the back hope you can see it sticks much more out here see here and um, if I turn it back to my original position um, let's see if I set my reference mark here it will um, actually come I mean this way towards the front when I turn the ring here see it's not really much I I I know something like that so it's at the stop so um, see it's uh, it sticks out that much but I can actually move it so it will stick even more out by turning counterclockwise I mean clockwise sorry so if, if I do that and turn my ring here you can see it will stick much more out uh -huh. and uh, of course there there is a limit somewhere but if the focus is not as you want it this is a way of doing it so you set it on um, on uh, infinity we go back to the stop position which is what it was in the beginning and uh, see here I have my mark and it does not really stick that much out you can see on the back here but if I um, I push the inner ring as much maybe around there and then turn my focusing ring Let's see here on the back it will stick much more out and then that way we go closer to the um, helic I mean to the center of the film I mean uh, if the opposite uh, situation is that is uh, you want it farther away you can I mean set it to infinity again and then that way push the the um, the ring here with this set screw you can push the other way and of course it will go further away from the focusing ring as you can see here it's even more uh, out see so now I would like to go it back to normal and then I can just turn the ring the outer ring set it back to what it was and just to be sure it's that let's see 
here. I can push it a little, set it to so it reaches the stop here. Then turn the outer ring so it goes back to what it was. It just need a little more, or oh, it was a little too far. See, hold on to the ring and push it to the stop. Then you can move the outer ring here. So, and now we are back to normal again. And uh, then I will uh, just tighten the screws gently, very gently. You can add a little of nail polish on top of it, just so they will not unscrew. So this is how it's done. And remember, not turning over the lens, because the whole lens assembly will simply fall out. And then you have another problem. <laughs> but you can see it in the other videos uh, how I actually uh, re-grease the lens. Or you can also see how I uh, fix the aperture blades if they were sticky or there is um, remove the old fungus in this lens but it's a really good lens so now it's a uh, now we know the exact uh, position of those uh, focusing helicoid And something like that, and then we are all back to, to normal again. So as you can see, it's not that difficult. The problem is how to get to actually soften the thread lock in the three set screws here, uh, which took a while for me. Better put the lens cap on here and um, also go around with the acetone or isopropyl alcohol alcohol 99% maybe something like 80% uh, or so it will work too I don't know I always use the 99 so now we can put the uh, front ring on here again and uh, to catch the thread, go a little backward. And that way you will more easily catch the thread. I should say click. Like. Let's see if we can catch it. So there. And simply screw it on again. Tighten it good, so the lens assembly will not be loose. And in that way we are more safe home. And uh, then I can actually add the focusing ring itself. And since I set a mark here, uh, in here, I know the exact position of where it should be also in here. It's all about marks when you're working with lenses because there is no one to ask how should it actually sit. It's your own reference. So make sure you have them. So you can put it on a little uh, over infinity and then uh, turn the focusing ring itself a little back so it's in the middle of the the infinity mark and then we can add the screws in again so everything is back to normal 
tighten them gently. There's no need for un over tighten those small screws. And that's almost there. The screws are made of steel and the uh, most of the part in here the focus is the focus system uh, I mean the helicoids is made of aluminium. So you can really easy if you tighten the screws too much you maybe will break it or you uh, destroy the uh, thread. So now you can see we are almost there. The only thing I need to do is put the the front ring on uh, and to make things a little easier I'll just put the rubber ring on. This makes things a little easier when you put it uh, before you put on the ring, gently lower it over. So there. If there is not too much sticky um, in the tape here, you could add some double side uh, sticky tape. Uh, you could use some of those uh, Scotch uh, double side tape. But um, yeah, it's not really important here. So on with the ring. So there. And uh, I mean, you could also use some um, rubber uh, glove uh, to tighten the screw, uh, tighten the front ring here. But uh, it's just more easy when you have this tool or some something like that. So simply put it on, have a good grip on the focusing ring itself and tighten it good. And here we are, back to normal. That's it. Um, that was all about this lens uh, of adjusting the lens to infinity or maybe over. Uh, it's up to you with your camera. So that's all for me. I hope you enjoy the content. See you sooner. Bye bye.